Welcome back to the Daily Bible Chapter. It is Friday, October the 21st of 2022, and today we're reading 2 Chronicles chapter 19. Then Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, returned safely to his house in Jerusalem. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him, and said to King Jehoshaphat, Should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord? Therefore the wrath of the Lord is upon you. Nevertheless, good things are found in you, in that you have removed the wooden images from the land, and have prepared your heart to seek God. So Jehoshaphat dwelt at Jerusalem, and he went out again among the people from Beersheba to the mountains of Ephraim, and brought them back to the Lord God of their fathers. Then he set judges in the land throughout all the fortified cities of Judah, city by city, and said to the judges, Take heed to what you are doing. For you do not judge for man, but for the Lord who is with you in the judgment. Now therefore, let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take care and do it, for there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, no partiality nor taking of bribes. Moreover in Jerusalem, for the judgment of the Lord and for controversies, Jehoshaphat appointed some of the Levites and priests, and some of the chief fathers of Israel, when they returned to Jerusalem. And he commanded them, saying, Thus you shall act in the fear of the Lord, faithfully and with a loyal heart. Whatever case comes to you from your brethren who dwell in their cities, whether of bloodshed or offenses against law or commandment, against statutes or ordinances, you shall warn them, lest they trespass against the Lord, and wrath come upon you and your brethren. Do this, and you will not be guilty. And take notice, Amariah the chief priest is over you in all matters of the Lord, and Zebediah the son of Ishmael, the ruler of the house of Judah, for all the king's matters. Also the Levites will be officials before you. Behave courageously, and the Lord will be with the good. Second Chronicles chapter 19. And a very short chapter today, but what stood out to me is... Um, I guess verse 7, where it's talking about, Now therefore, let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take care and do it, for there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, no partiality nor taking of bribes. And uh, this verse was when he was appointing judges for um, all the fortified cities there, and going city by city and appointing judges. And uh, I don't know, I guess that stood out to me because I feel like in many ways, we still want fair and honest judges, and probably in many ways we can find instances where the judges that are over us in our lives today may not have been fair or impartial, or maybe some of them were taking bribes. And I think for me, it just sort of reiterates that, you know, there's nothing that's going on today that wasn't really going on then. I mean, it seems more prevalent today because we, you know, I think we have news available to us 24-7. We have almost instant news with through cell phones and computers and stuff like that. But, like, I guess, I don't, I don't know the right way to say it, but maybe the corruption of man is prevalent then as it is now. Um, you know, and I, it's not good or bad, but that's kind of what I was thinking about. Like, you know how nice it would be to have somebody come back through and clear out all of the, you know, the, the terrible judges and, and leaders of our society, you know, wherever you are and have godly people installed in those places that would be fair and impartial and not take bribes and, and, and that would judge based on, you know, the facts of the case and, and not maybe emotions or whatever. Anyway, that's what I was thinking about as I was reading through the, through the chapter today. Anyway, I hope you have a great day today and I hope you have a good weekend coming up and we'll close in prayer. Father God, thank you for, um, just watching over us and God, we just pray that you would, um, let us have fair and impartial judges in our lives, Lord. And God, and fair and impartial leaders in our country and, and in our, our workplaces. And God, just anywhere that leadership is there, God, that they would be fair and impartial and that they would um, take note of the facts and not not tied up in, in emotions, Lord. And Father God, we just pray that you would 
uh, continue to provide for our needs, Lord, um, as some predict economic doom and gloom in our country and across the world, Lord. God, we just pray that you would provide for our needs, Lord, and God, give us a, a calmness and that peace that passes understanding if all that comes to be, Lord. God, the knowledge to know that, that you are in control and that you will take care of us. If you take care of the birds and the lilies, that you would take care of us. Father God, we just love you. We ask you to watch over us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.